video is the volume of triangular prisms. All right. So what we're going to do right here is as Mr. Romano states, prisms are always named by their base. Thus, a rectangular prism has a rectangular shape base. Use the information to shade the bases of the triangular prisms. So I'm going to shade all of these. So these prisms, give me just a second. No, just give me a second, guys. I've done it with a colored pencil. It took longer, so I'm trying to color it in for y'all. Stay between the lines, right? Okay, got all the bases, all the triangles, bases colored in. <clears throat> now, A, Mr. Rano's student states that they only see, that only C is a triangular prism, since it's the only prism with a triangular base. Is the student correct? He's incorrect. I just colored them all in for you. All or triangular prisms. C is the only one sitting on its base. triangular prism uses the same formula as a rectangle prism, B equals BH. However, the base is a triangle, so B is equal to the area of the triangle. So B being the area of the triangle. So the big B is equal to one half the base times the height, or H is the height of the prism. The height of the prism is the distance between the bases. Okay. So right here, we're going to find the area of the triangles. The formula is the base time height divided by 2. So the base is 14 and the height is 2. So we're going to say 14 times 7 divided by 2. And that's going to give us 49 feet. All right. Base time height divided by 2. Here's the base, which is 6.1, times the 3.2, which is the height, divided by 2. You plug that in the calculator, you get 9.76 centimeters. The base times height divided by 2, the base is 9, times 10, which is the height, divided by 2. So 90 divided by 2 is 45 meters. All 
Okay. Now, the volume I want you to use for triangular prism is going to be the length times the width times the height divided by 2. <clears throat> so the length times the width times the height divided by 2. But remember, the length and the width is the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle. So if we were to color the base of the triangle, because it's triangular prism, we've got this right here. Okay, there's our base. So we know the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height divided by 2. So here's the base of the triangle right here, right? So the base is going to be 6. The height of the triangle is 8. And when you sit that down on its triangular base, how tall is it? That is 7. And you take all of those and divide by 2. And when you multiply those, you get 168 centimeters cubed. Okay, here's a better depiction of what I'm, I'm trying to say when you set it in this base. So here's this base right here. Here's the triangle. You see the little square in the corner? These are right triangles. Right there. So there's your base. Let me go ahead and do this one too. Okay. All right. So the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. So the base of the triangle is 9. The height of the triangle is 12. And the height of the prism is 8 because it's already sitting on its base. And then you divide it by 2. And when you multiply those three together and divide by 2, you get 432 centimeters cubed. All right. This one's not sitting on its base. Same formula here. Length times width times height. And this is the same as the big B times the H. I'll put that there for y'all. All right. So the base of the triangle is 6. The height of the triangle is 5. And if we set that prism up on its triangular base, the height is going to be 8.4. And then divide by 2. So when you do those, multiply those three numbers together and divide by 2, you get 126 centimeters cubed. All right. The base of a triangle prism has an area of 18 inches, and the height of the prism is 9.5. Okay, so triangular prism, so we know big B and H, okay? And they're giving you in this one, the base has an area of 18. So the base has an area of 18 and has a height of 9.5. 9.5, and when we multiply those together, you get 171. We don't have to divide by 2 because it gave you the area of the triangular base, which was 18. So there was no need to divide by 2. All right, here's another one, but it's given us the volume. So the volume is, the, you know, and then the big B times H. So the volume is 240. The area of the base is 16. What is the height? So just divide by 16. Cancel out. So the height is equal to 15 meters. All right, and number nine, Carolina was solving for the volume of a triangle prism below. Describe her mistake in the process and justify your reasoning. All right, so let's start. We'll do this ourselves. The volume, and I'll do the big B, the H, but then down here I'm going to do the volume equals the length, the width, and the height. So the base of the triangle is 5, the height of the triangle is 12, and then if we set it on the triangular base, the height of the prism is 22.4. We take that and we divide by 2 and we get, let's see what we get, we got 
5 times 12 times 22.4 divided by 2. You get 672 yards cubed. Is that what she got? Mm, no, because she used the wrong number for the height. Geometry is my favorite unit to teach. <laughs>